Yo guys, what's up? I have another free NBA pick video for you today, and this is for the NBA games on Friday. So that means it's Flex Friday for prize picks as well. And I have my two favorite picks I'm going to give to you guys in a second. Um, first, I just want to say if I am sniffling or coughing, again, like I said in the last few videos, I am very sick. So I do apologize. Um, just wanted to let you guys know I am sorry, but I am very sick. Um, but let's get into it. So guys, real quick. My March Madness bracket, it is closing in literally like two days. By the time you guys are watching this, two days. Okay, so if you wanted to fill out a March Madness bracket this year, you were thinking about doing March Madness and you're like, yeah, I'll get I'll get around to it later. Now, like now is later. Like there is no more time. Y'all have two days left to get into March Madness um, bracket. Literally selection Sunday is this Sunday in a couple days here. And like, to be honest, this is a free bracket. You get in for free. You could win 500 bucks. I'm paying the winner 500 bucks. And there's only 10 people in the bracket right now. So you guys have a legit chance of winning the 500 bucks. I didn't want to make a bracket with a bunch of people and make it impossible. I wanted you guys to have a chance to win the 500 bucks. And so that's why we only have 10 people in right now. Also, I feel like a lot of you guys think that um, downloading the sleeper app and using the code ghost, which is by the way, the way you get into the bracket. I feel like a lot of you guys think that's kind of like, you know, a pain in the ass, honestly, and I get it. But to be fair, that is literally the same app we use to do the bracket anyway. So to get into the bracket, you're going to have to download that app anyway. And when you download it, it lit it just asks you right away. If you have a code, you just put in code ghost and you're all set. And then just DM me on Instagram or email me when you do that. And then I'll just send you an invitation link to get into the bracket. Um, so it'll literally take five, 10 minutes tops for me to give you the invitation link and everything like that. And it's literally the same app anyway. So it's not really a pain because you're going to have to download that app anyway to get into the bracket. So it's super easy, literally five or 10 minutes and you guys could win 500 bucks and it's March Madness. It's just really fun. It's going to be a good time. But anyway, let's get into it. So we have, uh, like I said, two picks for you guys today. And the first pick we're going to do is very simple pick here. We are going with, wow, they actually just took it down. That's crazy. So they had Jokic at 24 points. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they had Jokic at 24 points. And so Jokic is playing the Spurs. Um, we're going to go with this regardless, even though it's not up right now. They're going to put it back up later. Even if they put it at 25 and a half, I like it. 26, I like it. 26 and a half is where I'd kind of stay away. But literally anything other than that, 24 and a half, 25, 25 and a half, I like his over a lot. He's playing the Spurs, and they are like the 28th worst defense in the league. So bottom three defense in the league when it comes to centers scoring the ball. And he's hit it four out of his last five games. So he's on a, he's on a, you know, a hot streak right now. And so it should be very, very easy for him to hit this. I think this line's way too low. I was actually very shocked when I saw his line at 24 and a half. So it does make sense they took it down. They're probably going to bump it to 25 and a half. Again, that's why I like to post these videos for you guys as early as possible so you get the best lines. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button so you get notified when I post the videos so that you do get the best lines. But yeah, so they're going to bump him up to probably 25 and a half, which is, like I said, that's perfectly fine. We're still going to take Jokic over that line anyway. And to be honest, you could probably take him over... Um, I didn't look, but points and assists right here. So, yeah, kind of same deal. I honestly wouldn't, though. I think he's just going to do it all himself. I like his straight-up points line um, anyway. I think that's safer. But then the second play is going to be Kelly Olenek over 13.5 points. So Orlando does have a good defense. But the reason I like this play is because Kelly Olenek, since you know R.J. Barrett's been out, which is the last couple games right here, He's just been killing it, and honestly, it's less of a fact of, you know, players can go on a hot streak, and you like they're over because they're on a hot streak, but then there's certain situations like Kelly Olenek here is, I, will, I don't even know if I'd call it a hot streak because he's just so relied on now with RJ Barrett and Scotty Barnes and Potal out. You literally have three starters out. You only have basically two guys on this team that can score. Gary Trent can score, but he's also questionable. He might not play this game either. And even if he does, which he has last couple games, I still think Kelly Olenek's beating this 13 and a half um, points line. But Kelly Olenek is just being relied on so heavily. He has to score. I mean, if you think, unless you think this is going to be a 30, 40 point blowout and he's only going to get 20 minutes in this game, bet the under. But other than that, 
I just the volume is there for him. And like I said, he has to score. You have quickly and you have him. And together they have to combine for at least at least 35, 40 points for their team to even have a chance. And everyone knows that, including Kelly Olinick. So I just think the 13 and a half points is way too low for him. That line might get bumped as well. It really might. But um, yeah, just a real quick video for you guys. I wanted to get this up. Like I said, I am super sick. So I almost wasn't able to get it up, but I am grinding these videos out anyway. I still do, uh, do not want to miss a day for you guys. But please, guys, like I said, I'm grinding these videos out. So please do like the video. Also, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on the best possible lines when I post the videos. And then also drop a comment if you like these picks, if you're going to tail. And then if you guys have your own picks as well, do that. And then also let me know, you know, um, your guys a sleeper for March Madness. I'm really hyped for March Madness. I want to know who you guys think is going to take it home. Personally, little prediction right now. I've had, and I'm not just saying this because they're the number one team in the country. I've had Houston on my radar for the whole season. When they were back ranked seventh and eighth, I've had Houston. I have not seen a defense in the country that's played this well in a very long time. And everyone knows defense wins championships, so I'm in love with their defense. Also, I think Creighton is a very slept-on team this year. I think Creighton has a legit chance. But anyway, that's my predictions. Let me know your guys' predictions in the comments. But other than that, guys, those are the picks for today's video. Good luck with all your bets, and I'll catch you in the next video.